we move now today to the Commonwealth of the University of the Commonwealth 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 of the I have to see you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, not about this thing, but the house
uses in the average class of God, class per unit, okay, which is 10 divided by 2, 5, so they're all alike. And here, the other index I gave you is their index of mechanization. Point A, point A, point A. Eight over ten. Let the proper. Okay, well, the proper rate that you can see is the proper rate little r is one two. And finally, the price of a car in the market for the buyers is.
in the form of these four blocks. And you can see from the blackboard what happened to the average class of producing a Honda Bible game. Okay? The C plus B was 18 divided by 4 plus 4.5. So, are we all comfortable? So, we have now uh, a computerization explaining how a company can become a low cost producer. One way, it's not the only way. One way is to mechanize new machines and technology. Is that the only way? Of course not. Engel gives you another way that I told you last time you can read. Managers can get the new cooperation and division of labor. To raise their productivity, even if they don't have a machine. Do you think of any other way? That managers may raise the productivity of labor to reduce the average cost. <laughs> raise the productivity of labor to reduce the average cost. Without the reason, okay, man. Culture. I'll give you an example of that. What my managers do with culture? Uh, no, it's okay, I don't know. You said, said culture. So supporting, supporting their employees. So it'll give you a form of supporting their employees. Yeah. 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 Certain types of what? Really? I don't think that would work. The problem with the height of it. I'm sure that would work. Should you give them uh, like, more and stuff and make them happier in the night? Yeah, I would go with that direction. I would go with what he said. He'll probably be fighting for him. Yeah, I would go with what he did. Okay? Okay. Uh, he gives them a kind of uh, on an education thing called give them a mix of part of him. They're all. You know, as part of the feeling, they're working together to produce a better life for everybody. Great it for a good. See the main challenge? How do I even be sure for a good? Huh? Okay, if you're raising wages, you're raising this to push it up at our spot. And to make that argument, which is okay, we're just going to have to make it a part of your argument. Do you see what I'm saying? Okay, so what do you have to do? No, 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 no. Stay with this. You're raising, your argument is, oh, you do make your argument as a manager before the board of directors, and you do will be part of it. You'll join this, you'll be unemployed by this guy over here, unless you have something to your argument. Yeah. So, you're not going to raise this, but you'll raise this, but you're going to make an argument that the raise, the increase in raises will increase that particular arrow, and then you will fall. How will you increase the pay for each person? Yes. That's the incentive. It's going to be a payoff from the incentive, and the payoff is the denominator. Total system, when you get out of here, this is what helps you with your job. Okay? How do I teach your creativity? You get a better grade. What do I do? Then I threaten. So managers can threaten? I'll fire you and let you blah blah blah. I'll discipline you. They use a club. But it's all known from your parents. It's not just the club that will get you to do what you would not otherwise do to clean your room. What else do parents do? And what you do with your kids? The work. Uh, the work. Reward. Reward is something else which is even all kind of reward which your parents have already done. They don't sit and get your money. That's how it works. I tried that. <laughs> Look, you get people to do what they would not otherwise do more quickly with affection and love and care than you ever will with So managers, this is a sophisticated job, that's why these characters make so much money. Not only do they look for new machines with new technology, not only do they go through what you just did, give higher wages with the hope of increasing their productivity to take so that not only make them members of the family, but to show a care for their work. Something that GM didn't figure out in 25, 30 years ago. So I noticed it for sure. So the hearing and the discipline and the mission, all that gets rolled up into what managers do. 
uh, and they have uh, five and a half, they have four cars. What's that one do? So the question here is, what is competition? Really? Well, a disaster for the human force. Since World War II. Which is the 
Sharpleather is blocked by these other firms. In other words, um, I'm going to call this SP. What has happened here is that when, when, when the board goes to market, when PM goes to market, they can't sell their cars for the price that they want. They have to sell it for a lower price, market price, because of what Honda did. And then you can sell selling it, Honda makes more that they can charge a higher price than what they expected. And there is then a loss of profits, of surplus, by Ford and uh, uh, General Motors to Honda. So Honda's surplus rises by what's called, Mark called a super part. It's the market redistributes, as it were, the surplus that under, I'm sorry, that Ford and GM have appropriated from the work. GM and Ford appropriate the surplus, but they lose it in the market. That's the that's, that's right. The market takes it away from them and delivers to uh, And the reason for that, again, is because, and I have another paper here. Um, over here, GM and Ford, 10, 12, divided by 2, they want to sell their cars for 6 bucks. Because if they can sell their two cars for 6, you get 12, that covers their hot materials to the, the wages they pay, and they can realize their surplus, their profit. So they want six. Same thing for four. They want they want to sell six per car. But they can get frustrated and angry and upset. And it's nothing to do with God. It's got something to do with Honda. Honda, by taking this offensive action, by being competitive, more competitive than look than than uh GM and Ford, Ford is then to sell for half a dollar less, five and a half, because that's the market price. And then, they, when they sell, they can cover their, their profit, you can see, but they lose some of their profits. And they lose it when they sell at five and a half rather than six. They lose it on on themselves more at a higher price. Honda would be quite happy coming in at 18 to 20, divided by four, so Honda would be quite happy to sell a car. They sell this four car four car is twenty, it covers a chain, yes, it's happy as a plant. Assuming plants are happy. But he can sell for a higher price. Why? Because it's a relatively inefficient competitor. So the price is higher than what is expected. They'd be happy to sell at five, they can sell Honda can sell at five and a half. To get a little bit more. So there's a reward and an incentive to lower your average cost. Okay. And in terms of what you said, is a an incentive for a firm to raise its composition of capital, to raise this from to get a higher rate of profit. It's the first lesson for every single corporation or every business understands. So in part they borrow to do this. Now, not this is not next step is not named. I just want to do this because it's important. Is there anything that Ford and, and Chrysler make? Is there anything they can do besides mechanization? Everything I explained. Is there anything else that they can do to protect themselves? Yeah. You can argue that their products aren't you know, better than Honda's because you don't have to sell their products. So you mount a television ad from the Super Bowl. Yeah. Everybody's watching. And at the Super Bowl, you mount an ad saying, our products are better. You know, reasons you go out to make difference. Or, you get the President of the United States to say, the time it was uh, President Ford, if you're an American, buy an American power. You will kill the nationalists. 
respect American jobs. Yeah. You should try and uh, have whatever government power like have. Uh, Maybe that's not sufficient. Then you go to Congress, that is, see on the board, would hire a lobbyist. The lobbyist gets paid, but who's it now? Paid, gets paid a cut of the surplus. But they're advertising a cut of the surplus for, for Madison Avenue, uh, to produce the, the ad on TV. And she get a cut of the surplus to hire a lobbyist lawyer. To go to Washington to do what? To hustle Congress person to put a possible tariff on foreign competition for our quota. So in the 19, I think it's the In the 19, when this law started, in really late 1970s, I think it was, just before President Reagan, 1970s, elected. The automobile companies put pressure on Congress, and then Congress, in fact, put a quarter on Japanese cars. Which the automobile for the Japanese government agreed to because the President of the United States, the major coordinator, somebody else, you know, put pressure on them. If you don't restrict your, your supply of cars to the United States, you can have a problem with us. So, this is a way to, you know, this is a story, the history, the origins of Paris and Kukas. To protect the industries that would otherwise be destroyed. And you can say, have any industries been destroyed? Yes, I can name two very famous ones in this part of the United States. Two, the shoe industry and the textile industry. One time in Massachusetts, was an important producer of shoes, something that come from Lynn, Massachusetts. And an important producer of textiles, while well, living the best in large, Massachusetts. And as a result of competition, I've just described it, both mills closed. I know the story about the event is very well, because that's from my holiday company that she worked in the mills. I know what happened to her. Or, you know, my family is the result of this competition. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, what happened to those mills? There were hundreds of them in Florida, but in fact, I'd say it's happening, but it's huge for us. But okay, what happened to the factory? It's uh, <laughs> the factories get turned into the first bowling alleys. <laughs> You see restaurants, malls, and eventually places in which high tech was history, you know, the textile and the shoe industry and other industries. The automobile industry in Detroit, the automobile industry in Framingham, something can be shut away. And this for the next step. Final step on this argument by the same. Okay, the last step on this step. <laughs> Engels then makes the following argument, and Kant is drawing it up. <laughs> he said, look, GM and Ford, if they remain passive in the face of this intense competition, they'll go down. So, he said, I would expect GM and Ford in this year, probably not even to be too react, they're not passive, they're active. And so what GM and Ford do, if they react to this intense competition, and they try to do what London did. If they can figure it out, they may send spies over there, you know, the industry is actually very interesting. They work on this, the uh, uh, managers of GM and uh, Honda trying to figure out what it is that Honda was doing. That's right here. They have done that right here, blah, 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 blah. But the Germans and the Japanese are doing. And so they begin to take it into copy of the market. You got it? So let's just do that. Let's just follow the market. They all make an ask. And I'm going to assume they make my argument silly. I'm going to assume it that the market for the home remains faster. They don't, but let's just do it. So they all hang an eye. 
Thomas, the new new Christ, so this is the new new Christ, has now become 60 over 12. Notice this all again, right? Because the great city is fine. Same story, the great 